Techie Tutorials is brought to you by TechieTutorials.blogspot.com which now has three new categories including tech slash gadgets, gaming, and sexy. Go check it out. Okay, hey guys, Techie Tutorials here. I've been trying to make this tutorial for ages, but I'd have computer problems, recording problems, Sony Vegas problems, but now we got it, okay? Okay. So what I'm going to be showing you how to make today is how do you make 3D text using the track motion in Sony Vegas Pro 9 and we're going to add a nice elliptical ring with a lens flare and a kind of a glowing effect and um, yeah it should look something like this okay so to get started we're going to go to new now once we have that done we're going to insert five odd video tracks okay okay on the first video track on the top we're going to put in our text now make sure that it is smaller than the screen I'm gonna put mine around 36 uh, 48 should be acceptable as well but you don't want it too big because it could uh, go off the screen slightly when we rotate it around now I'm gonna add a slight outline and feather it out a bit then we're gonna add a shadow Create that a cyan color. Okay, looks good. Now on the bottom, the or the third video track, we're going to add in a black solid color. Okay, there we go. And then in the middle track, we're going to add in an elliptical ring, which can be found in media generators and color gradient. Now we're going to click on the little two here once this window pops up. I'm going to change it to a cyan green, well I am, you can create whatever, whatever color you want. This is kind of the color I'm going for, that's great. Uh, you can also adjust the size um, by adjusting the angle. 45 will do me, okay I think that's what it was at already, I'm um, stupid. Okay, so we got this done. I'm going to exit out. Now we're just going to match up these, get rid of this, okay. So we've got the three. We've got the text, we've got the elliptical ring, and we just got the solid background. Now, none of these are rotating, as you can see, they're just stagnant. So what we're going to go to is we're going to go to the first video track, we're going to go to compositing mode, this green little box here which says CC. Click on that, and we're going to go up to the top and say 3D Source Alpha. Now we're going to do the same on track 2, where our elliptical ring is. Now we're going to go into the track motion, which is this little icon here on the first track. And we're going to close down all the other boxes apart from rotation. Now we're going to be using keyframes. If you don't know what keyframes are, you can check out my tutorial or you can just look closely and you should get it. Now so here we're actually on the first keyframe. So we're going to go to rotation, we're going to go to Y, and we're going to input 65. You can adjust that whatever way you like, but you can see here in the preview window that is the angle that the text is at. Now we're going to move this slider along and we're going to watch the screen here over here until we get to the end just about here. Now we're going to put in negative 65 or minus 65. So now that text is over here. So if you see, you can see, sorry, if we play this back, it rotates. Okay? So let me just give you a preview. Now if that's too slow for you, you can speed it up by doing this, you can move the keyframe up. If it's too fast, move the keyframe out here, and simply extend your text. Okay? Okay, good stuff. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same here on the elliptical ring. So we've got the 3D source alpha ticked. Now we're going to go to the track motion. Again, we're going to close everything except for the rotation. And in Y, on the first keyframe, we're going to enter 65. Now, you have to make sure that this is the same as the text, the text um, uh, rotation, just so it looks synchronized. And then we come up here, and we're going to put in minus 65. Okay, and that will automatically create a keyframe. Now, you know, if you can't see the keyframes, you can just drag them up. Okay? <coughs> okay, so that's basic 3D rotation using track motion. Now I'm going to continue and just put in an extra couple of effects, so if you're interested you can keep watching. And if that's what you want, you can uh, you can leave the video now. No hard feelings, I still love you. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'd like to add a kind of uh, a glow 
to the elliptical ring. Now you can always come into your video effects and get things like low. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it, you could say an old fashioned way. Or you couldn't really, it depends. Um, what I'm going to do is we're here on the first keyframe as you can see here. Now I'm going to move this here and I'm going to make it a brighter shade of blue. See? And then I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to reduce the opacity and this is what I'm going to do the whole way, just bring up and then reduce the opacity again it's just going to give it a natural glow feeling and it's going to be a bit different every time because I'm not going down any specific amount uh, you can of course mess around with video effects if you wish but uh, I just think, I don't know, I prefer to do things uh, my own and just, you know, customise it myself make it look how I'd like it to look and, okay we're just going to keep keyframing down to the end Okay. We're going to want to end it on a bright glow just for when we're fading out. So now you can see we're going around and this appears to be flashing. Okay. So that's cool. Now, another thing that I did in the opening or the example of this, I added a lens flare. So we're going to come down to the sunburst effect, and we're going to lay it on here onto the elliptical ring, or whatever it's called. Now, we're going to be using more keyframes here, so just pay attention. And, uh, yep, yeah, for a tint, you can see we can tint it. And I'm going to select kind of a, kind of a purpley, cyan, whatever colour, lilac you want to call that. Okay, and um, see what you're going to, you can, you can see the glow here and the intensity, bring the intensity up or down to your liking okay, that's good for me and of course you can fill in with these settings if you wish uh, there we go <coughs> excuse me now what we're going to do is we're going to move this box over here and we're going to move this to here just about here and we're going to do, so you can move this over here so use your hand or your <laughs> your cursor, or you can put in a uh, negative 500 for the X, and the Y can stay the same at 500. Now we're going to go up again, about to here, and we're going to bring this up here. And don't worry, we I think we will be changing these, so just go with me with these, and we can change the keyframes in a bit. And we're going to move up here, and we're going to move it over. To here, which will just be 500 and negative 500, and then finally at the end we want it to come back to where it started at 500, 500. So we're going to put in the settings there. Okay, so now if we play it back, you see that. Uh, it's a bit choppy first of all, but the, the lens flare is it's rotating around the elliptical ring, kind of like an extra glowing effect. And um, by the end, it's rotated all, all the way back to where it was. And of course, if they are too close together, all you have to do is open Generate Media again by clicking this. And you can... Uh, oh, whoops, sorry. We're going into the lens flare, are we not? So we're going to the event effects and you can just move the keyframes closer together further apart until you get it how you like it and uh, yeah so what we're going to do then is we're just going to fade it in and fade the effects out Oops, it is. trying to keep them even so you can see it, fade, it fades in, our text is rotating, our elliptical ring is rotating and our lens flare is rotating around the elliptical ring which I think is quite a cool effect. Now, also, I'm not sure, in the example, I think I did have my text kind of flashing a bit or glowing, which will be the same with the outline or the shadow. We just use the keyframes, we move up, and we bring the feather down, or the width up, okay? And um, you just keep doing that, like we did the lens fair the exact same way, and you can also change the colour of the text if you want, make it flashing. You can add in. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully I can get this on in under 10 minutes. And um, thanks for watching. Bye. Love you. Bye. Thanks. Cheers. Subscribe. All that jazz. Bye.